Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, we're going to be talking about the DMX import on the back of the Force 1.0. Now we included that here to cover those situations where you may need to dial in a very highly customizable static scene based on requests from your customers at a wedding or other high level event. Now in those situations, it may be easier to use a standard off the shelf DMX controller to dial in those very highly customizable static scenes and allow the Force 1.0 to take over every other lighting control aspect of your event. Now, in order to make use of this, we have a external hardware based DMX controller here. I have the DMX out wired into the DMX in of the Force 1.0. And what you're interested to look at here is the vertical displays on the sides of the screen. This one says DMX in, currently it says no. This one says DMX repeater, it's currently off. When I turn on the external DMX controller, once the Force 1.0 detects a valid DMX 512A signal, you'll see this turn to yes here. Now the Force 1.0 can act as a DMX repeater if you enable that function. Essentially it'll route the DMX in signal to the DMX out and bypass internal control features of the Force 1.0. Now the benefit here is that both input and output are fully isolated RS-45 DMX 512A compatible interfaces on the Force 1.0, where many external DMX controllers are not fully isolated. So you do get that benefit here. Now to get access to the DMX repeater function, you wanna access shift operators eight and nine. Shift operator eight is a termination feature. So when you turn that on, it enables a DMX terminator on the DMX input. You'll see that no noted here with term. You can turn that on and off. If you have a very, very long cable run from your Force 1.0 back to some external DMX controller, you know, hundreds of feet away, you may want to make use of that terminator. Shift operator number nine is what enables the DMX repeater function. So now at this point it is on and it is bypassing all internal control features of the Force 1.0 and it is routing the DMX in to the DMX out. And I can disable this and now allow the Force 1.0 to take over all other important pieces of your event.